How is everybody? Welcome to OCC. Good morning. Welcome to OCC. Let me just adjust these cameras a little bit. Go this way. Go this way. I like it so much better. That is much better. Morning. 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 I know some of y'all might be at work, so you just catch the replay. Morning. Everybody hold your thoughts. I need my morning go-go juice. So today, you guys, guess what we're going to be talking about? Making your college degree work for you. Basically, if you ain't trade school, you already know what the trade is, right? You're going to do go do hair. You already know what you're going to do. Making your college degree work for you. So basically, if you're in trade school, you just go get that, go start your own business, work under somebody for a year, and just go. But if you ain't got your college degree, it's more complicated. They don't tell you all the things that happen after college. I do that. Hold the thought. Let me show you. Okay? Let me show you. If I can find it. Okay, look, my mama, she'll be a little bit upset because I can't find mine. I know where mine is, mama. I'm sorry. I was going to show you mine, but I have two degrees in criminal justice. So basically, I didn't know what mine offered. I kind of knew, but I knew like my senior year. They didn't tell us all the things. That it offered. I know, right? I know, right? Once I got there. And to be honest, can we be real? Can we be real for about two seconds? I didn't care. I didn't care. Let me tell you why I didn't care. Because I was going to law school. I knew I was going to be a lawyer. But to be a lawyer, you don't need a criminal justice degree. You can get a degree in everything. And they'll take you. As long as you pass the LSA, law school admission test. But let's just say you're not going to be a lawyer. Let's just say you're going to stick with your four-year basic bachelor's of science, bachelor of art degree, right? Okay, well, do you know everything that it offers? I know now. It looks a little darker here on YouTube, but on Facebook, I'm bright as the sun. Well, basically, you need to know what a criminal justice degree, I'm going to go through the various degrees, but with a criminal justice degree, you could do policing, you could do, you could become a bailiff, you could do, uh, had a fire, a brave heart, but you could become, uh, what that is, probation officer. But in school, they don't tell you all that. They want you to go basically out there and figure it out. Everybody hold your thoughts. It's my go-go juice, y'all. They want you to go out there and you figure it out. So in college, they don't tell you all that. My business, I walk my children through all that. So they, if you're going to go get a degree and they tell me their degree, they have to know everything that it offers. Okay? So you don't be out here and you don't know. But when you get out of college, in the state of Louisiana, I don't know about other states, you have to go take another test. Everybody think about that. You have to go take another test to still prove that you're worthy. So you mean tell me. I went and I said, <laughs> in my case, I sat for seven years in college. I did four years in community college. Yes, I said it. I did four years. I did four years. I sure did. You don't know my story. Don't judge me. Okay? Ain't to be it. All right? I did four years in a community college. Then I transferred and I did two. Yes, I said it. I did two. Okay? Point is, I completed. I did two more years. I think that's six. My bad. I did two. Four, five, six. Yeah, I did six years. I completed college. And you didn't tell me I got to go sit in somebody's classroom 
and do a text to show you that I can get this job. Mm hmm. And say, Louisiana, that's what you have to do. You have to do that to become a police officer. You have to do that to do uh, a parades officer. And then, if you don't pass the test, you can't do either or. So, what's the point in going to college? I'm not saying don't go. Still go. Because you still could become a bailiff. But I'm going to get less money in a, being a bailiff, which is the sheriff's department here. So, you know, even in the sheriff's department. You still have to go take a test. Now I did that. I went and took the test, passed the test, people still they called me. I took the test again, passed the test. The people said, because you knew somebody in jail, you couldn't get the job. But I went to college. I have I have a degree. I have a degree. It wasn't good enough. I only have one degree. I have two degrees. Two. I have two degrees. And so y'all can see my two on Facebook, two on YouTube. It's not four, okay? I have two degrees. Two. Make sure you know how to make your college degree work for you. Now, nursing. We're going to move on to nursing. Nurse degree. You have a LPN, a CN, a RN. There's all those different nurses, right? Okay, you can't get a job if you ain't got no references. Not only references if you ain't got no experience. Correct? Y'all comment. Y'all let me make sure. Let me move this over so I can see the YouTube comments. You can't get no job if you ain't got no, no experience. Correct? I'm not going to let you prick me if you ain't got no experience. Some of y'all be pricking kind of hard. I ain't going to let you prick me if you ain't got no experience. Correct? But not only that, you you don't have to just be that kind of nurse. Did you know you could be a travel nurse? Yup. I have a I had a nursing student who wanted to be a nurse. She didn't know she could be a travel nurse. Did you know that? You could be a travel nurse. You don't have to just be a school nurse. Well, that light looks so much better on YouTube. You don't have to just be a school nurse. You can be a travel nurse. Know how to make your college degree work for you okay know how to make your college degree work for you you don't just have to be a regular old nurse i'm not saying you're just a regular nurse but yeah you're just a regular nurse if uh you in the hospital you did a lot of hours you sure did but you could be a travel nurse too did you know that and the way you could get uh, hours in, they're not just going to let you go to clinic. You can't go to clinic until the end. You could you could start doing home home health. That's some hours. See, what I did was, it's all about preparation. That's the word. Hallelujah. It's all about preparation. So what you do is, you start finding jobs that's going to lead you to your end goal. My end goal was to become a lawyer. So you know what I did? I start prepping myself. To become what I wanted to be. So I thought I started doing security work. Oh no, I just know any security work, honey. I start doing armed security work where I had to deal with arresting people and guns because I know I wanted to be a lawyer. So I was gonna start dealing with criminals anyway. And my resume wasn't choppy. I was doing it consistently. I started doing my home health on the side, but I started doing security consistently. Why? Because I wanted some type of experience in the law field. I couldn't just walk into a lawyer's office because I didn't have a law degree. But I started interning. Nurses, you can't just walk into that field because you don't have a nursing degree. You can't probably do your click until afterwards, like your last year or something like that. So, Go to a nursing home. That's why I had my students go and they high school. Go go to um home health. You could do that. Mm-hmm. 
Engineering. Know how to make your college degree work for you. What was your thought? You know there's engineering and mathematics? I ain't know that. Could be a brilliant math teacher. Say it ain't so. There's so much you could do, but you have to know how to make your college degree work for you. And guess what? Now, remember I told y'all? I got to get this down, y'all, because we talk about, if you just joined us, to talk about making your college degree work for you. Remember I told y'all I had two degrees in criminal justice? Well, I don't use either one. I just thought I'd be real with y'all. For all the stuff I have learned, all the stuff I am still learning, I learned I made it a business. Call our children's children's LLC. Teaching other kids what to do. And this is one of the topics we go over. How to make your college degree work for you. If you decide to go to college. Why? Because you're getting these degrees you can't do nothing with because you didn't know what to do with it. And your college will then tell you. And then you wind up, you got to go back to school for your master's degree. Because if I was going to do anything with my degree, I would have to go back to school for my master's degree. Because there was nothing I could do with this criminal justice degree. Again, because it's so broad. A criminal justice degree ain't nothing but a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So you could get a little bit of everything. A little bit of evidence, because you study evidence. A little bit of criminology, when that's a degree all by itself. But you only get a little bit. Okay? A little criminal justice. That's literally a class. It's a degree, but it's a class. Yeah, you get a little bit of everything. And you mean it's a one degree. Another degree that I notice people get. General studies. Get the bottom page. General studies. I am be I'm done finally when people get that degree. I noticed that degree consists of math, English, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Did you know you could go be a teacher with general studies? I didn't know that. I, I was, my mind was blown. I didn't know that. Now, these are not my words. These are students I went and talked to. Again, these are not my words. These are students I went and talked to. They go get this degree because they don't know what to do with their life. Okay, moving on. Everybody got it? Very good. They go get this degree because they don't know what to do. They don't know if they want to be a nurse, a librarian, a doctor, a uh, 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 artist. An architect person, they, they don't know what to do with their life. Now, there are some degrees that are just plain and simple. It's kind of like you know what you're getting at, like architect. You know you build things. That's the architect degree. Uh, a psychologist, you kind of know you need to go get your master's after that. It's, it's very plain and simple on what that degree consists of. Okay? you uh, uh, An English degree. There, ooh, with an English degree, did you know? Okay, that, that English degree is not too much plain and simple. I know they said it was, but just because I know what you can do with it. But let me tell you what you can do with an English degree. You know you could be a ghostwriter? A ghostwriter? For somebody? That's people. Let me tell you what a ghostwriter is. That's when somebody like, that's when you write and stuff for other people, like books and stuff. You know, people that write books, sometimes they got ghostwriters. They don't even write their own stuff. Or they, they need help. We're writing their own stuff. So they hire a ghostwriter. That's people like got English degrees and stuff like that. Know what your degree consists of. Know how to work your degree. Yes. The people in the courtroom, the, the, the typists, 
I can't get the right name for it, but y'all know what I'm talking about. There have to be people sometimes that have an English degree. I talk to people. That's how I make my business work. <laughs> That's how I get my, my kids up in them. Yeah, there be people with an English degree sometimes. Yeah, know how to English teachers, English professors, English degree majors. Now, sometimes your degree may deter and you might do something else. Like, I don't even use my criminal justice degree. It helps me sometimes with reading papers and stuff and knowing different terms. Well, I guess I do use it, huh? I just had that thought. Mm. But yes, yeah, using, using, know how to use your degree. Facebook on myself. But these kids that are coming out of college now, I was one of them, didn't know how to use their degree. And no one told us how to use our degree. And then on top of that, we don't have jobs. And it ain't the school all the time. They didn't tell us where to go and how to compete. I also teach my kids how to compete. You know who we competing with? That's who we competing with. It ain't even people with degrees. That's who we competing with. All on TNC. That's who we competing with. Parents, I'm telling y'all to send y'all kids to me so y'all know what to, what to do. That's who we competing with. People with high school diplomas. On top, people with degrees. And baby boomers. They haven't retired yet. That's who we're competing with. Wonder why? Because they haven't retired. People you see at Walmart, they ain't retired yet. Susie Water Boys, they haven't retired yet. Energy, all the banks, big corporations, we coming out of school, they still working. Hello, just like my pastor when he want us to let everybody get out of the same. Hello, everybody on the same, very good. That's what we compete with. On top of the people that went to high school, that that that, that got only got high school diplomas. Let me tell you why. Because employers they want people with experience. So we were told to go to college, don't get a job. We ain't got no experience, so we just got degrees. Them people they got experience. So they chose them over us. When I found that out, I was like, I'm going to get some experience while I'm in college. So that way I got the paper and experience. Paper plus experience gets you a job over somebody with a high school diploma. Why? Because they just got experience, no degree. But your children over here just got the, the experience, I mean the diploma, the degree, but no experience. So that child... That the they don't over there with the high school diploma. Y'all follow me. They just gonna have the job because they got the experience. But your child just came out of college with the diploma. But they ain't got no experience. See, I teach my kids otherwise. That's why I got people coming to me. Because they get the, they I tell them go get them internships. That's gonna follow your dream. Because you're gonna have the experience and the diploma. So you're gonna be able to go out here and compete. I teach my kids how to compete. When I came out of school with my first degree, I had a job offer at child support office that was in line with my degree. You know why? Because I had the experience. I was able to compete. I ain't nobody teaching me this. I had to figure it out. The colleges was not teaching us this. They were teaching us how to compete with other people with degrees. They were teaching us how to compete with Harvard and Yale, a community college. They all got a community college was teaching me how to compete with Harvard and Yale. And I was winning. They didn't teach us how to compete with people with high school diplomas or people that haven't yet retired and how to be better. They teach us that. 
So learn how to make your degree work for you. Learn what your degree offer in all aspects. Because if you don't, your paper just going to be sitting up there collecting dust. And this is what I teach my kids. Your paper going to be sitting there collecting dust. And you're going to be working at Burger King. If you don't like me talking to your kids like this and giving them the real, I suggest you don't hire me. Well, that's really all I got to say. Learn how to make your degree work for you. And when you see one, teach one. Bye, you guys.